Oh <laughs> yeah. We got the Jeep Commander Gator. Almost done with its interior swap from taupe and khaki to black, but we still have to do the dashboard. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I am out here sweating with Gator, the Pimp Edition Commander. And we just have a few more things to do before this interior swap is done. Uh, we are going to tackle the dashboard next. Pretty complicated, but we're gonna take this apart piece by piece. And uh, I'll try to get you guys good coverage because there's not a lot out there that explains how to take these dashboards apart. This is necessary, especially if you're gonna do your heater core. I should probably get a heater core right now, but <laughs> I don't need to, so uh, we're gonna just ride this one out. So the first thing, the very first thing I'm gonna do, although you don't actually have to do it uh, to get the dashboard out is, I'm gonna take out this steering wheel, well, because it's uh, it's khaki colored and I'm gonna put a sweet black steering wheel in it. I'm actually reconditioning it now. Uh, I got a steering wheel video coming specifically uh, for steering wheels. Yeah, steering wheel video specifically for steering wheels. Boink, don't hit the door uh, out of my way. So here we go, without further ado, we are getting into the dash and uh, I'm taking off the steering wheel. So uh, if you wanna see a steering wheel video, tune into that. Uh, we're gonna fast forward that and uh, see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> and just like magic, the steering wheel is out. All right, go watch that video. Oh, I just whacked my knee. Oh, um, okay, <laughs> next thing. Uh, we're gonna have to take apart the center console. Now I have this done in detail in my interior swap video, so I'll just recap it quick for you. Trim bezel comes off, uh, the wood grain bezel comes out. These just clip on, no screws needed. Uh, once this is out, you could pop up these little cup holder guys. There is a 10 millimeter screw in there. There's a hole in there for a 10 millimeter screw. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pop out this back panel right here and expose the back of the center console. Of course, you're gonna have to disconnect the buttons if you have the entertainment center. And there's two T20 torque screws right down here. And this, this flappy piece, uh, which we'll probably re-anchor in before we reinstall it, this comes up. And you're just gonna keep wiggling it up. You might wanna manipulate the e-brake lever, like so. And then uh, pull it back and it dis displugs itself. And then you can just pull it right up over your shifter and that's it. Uh, three screws, that's what holds this together. Uh, that's that. And then you can take your little uh, pick again and pop off this console right here. Console comes out and we could detach all these little pieces. They just come out by hand. That's out. And then you're gonna wanna take this out. This I unscrewed earlier. Wink. All right, check it out. So far, guys, we are only in this a few minutes. Look how much we've accomplished. Pretty simple so far, nothing too complicated. I'm gonna wanna take out the top. I think we'll work top down. We'll get this dashboard out of here. This piece is held on by these little guys right here. These little hex screws, they are functional. So we're gonna take off that. And let's see, yeah, a couple screws right here, Phillips head there. And let's just get rid of this while we're at it. And uh, my year commander, these just pop right out. Uh, Clip-ons. All right, these hex heads are number five. Uh, three sixteenths will work too if you have to. I'd rather get the best fit, which is a number five. Flip that up. All right, there should be eight of these. I highly recommend a magnetic tray. 
helps you not lose these special one-of-a-kind things not many Jeeps have these bad boys on them so hold on to them all right we're gonna switch it up to the Phillips there that is free now this front piece should just pop off now hopefully there we go that helps <laughs> put the steering wheel nub down oh look there it comes got to put this in a taupe pile I guess those bottom two were a part of the upper dash panel um, all right this is a little complicated because a lot of the screws you see here uh, hold together the ventilation system all the plumbing and the ductwork is, is intertwined into this piece so the ductwork comes off with this top part so what I think I'll do I'll just take out the instrument cluster get a nice long screwdriver over here all right now the cluster will come out and here's a fun fact you cannot operate your commander without your cluster plugged in you could basically strip every component from this vehicle except the uh, skim module and the cluster uh, and you could drive it but the cluster and skim module have to be in there we go cluster out it's gonna pop off this side piece right here khaki pile these two screws they are obviously connecting the dashboard to the vehicle so we'll take this off and this one off khaki pile While I'm up here, I'm just going to take out these A-pillar trim pieces. I do believe it is 10 millimeter. Side curtain airbag, that reminds me, unplug your battery because eventually when we take out this dash, we're going to need to unplug the airbag on the passenger side. We already unplugged the battery to take out the steering wheel. You do not have to take off the steering wheel to remove the dash. FYI, you really don't. I've done it. Just make sure you unplug the battery. Well, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Because Dan H said so. And again, while we're up top, let's pop up this. This little vent comes out straight up. Tote pile. Chuck it. And in here, there we go. One, two, definitely that one. <laughs> and one on the other side. We gotta get those out. I believe those are 10 millimeter as well. Pile's getting bigger. So here's kind of where it gets dicey now. We have a lot separated, but it's attached to each other. So these are one, two, three screws we're gonna have to get from the bottom. We gotta drop the glove box. Now checking out the driver's side. Let's see what we need to remove here. There is a black bezel in here that could come out with the dash. So screws like this one that connects the dash to the bezel will not have to come out, but we will have to remove screws like this that attach the bezel to the frame of the vehicle. So there's two back there. I guess we'll start with that. Ah, look at that. We're getting some wiggle action. Looking good. Here we go. Almost forgot this guy right here in the center of the dash. This is a big player in dash. Uh, security, uh, security, uh, stabilization, mounting, I don't know, but that's an eight millimeter. We'll get this guy out. So this dash is still stuck together at the top and the bottom by a screw. Now you're going to want to think it's this front screw, but it is not. Let me show you what the trouble is. If you get up in here, you will see 
some evil person and the Jeep engineering team decided to use a screw right up there. It's hard to even see on camera. So that has to go. And what's even worse is it's got a twin on this side in here. Now this one, you could probably bend this vent out of the way, but uh, it is really hard to get a screw head on the back. <laughs> if you have really flexible fingers, you could drop your screwdriver down in here and get it out. I'll let you guys do it with your own imagination. I'm really doing it, guys. I'm really doing it. Oh, there's some crud in there. There we go. Look at it turn. <laughs> Dexterity. <laughs> you need a PhD and uh, finger manipulation to get this thing up. Or brute strength. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. There we go. Look how free that is now. Oh, yeah. There we go. I think I'm getting it. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, come on. It's right there. Oh, got it. Got it. Ha, 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 ha. Wow, that was fun. Not. <laughs> Since we had such a great time taking that apart I might decline to reinstall that one. Oh my goodness all right she's just about ready to come out all right to drop the glove box open it of course then through that side panel you got this little piston thingy this little shock absorber strut I'm just gonna detach this like that boink indeed Now we're just going to pull these two tabs down. Let's see if I can do it one-handed again. Tab and tab down. There we go. And this should just pop out. Give it a slap. How you doing? And, oh, what is this? This is our iPad connector. <laughs> uh, Guys, let me hear it in the comments if you've ever used the adapter for the iPad. <laughs> All right, go box out. Khaki pile. All right, here we go. Up in the glove box, there's one, two, and behind this pile of wires, there should be a third screw. Oh, these Phillips heads are also seven millimeter. I hope this helps you guys. Hello. Oh, is, Hi. That, is that you making all that noise? Yep. What are you singing? Let's be. How do you, how's it go? Let's be. If it's, heavy. if it's meant to be, it'll be. That one? Yes. Uh, okay. okay, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> As if this project wasn't hard enough. I figure, let me just try this. <laughs> Little needle nose. It'll spin this sucker from the outside. And it's working. <laughs> wow. Hey, look what else I just thought of. This should do the job too. Oh yeah, right angle. You probably can't see it, but it's worth a shot. Got it. All right, the last thing are these two airbag bolts. And thankfully these guys just zip right out. These are eight millimeter. There we have it guys. Dashboard should be out. Just gotta make sure the wires aren't caught. Gonna wanna stuff your wires back out of the way. Make sure nothing gets pinched. Stuff them all back. And then when you get yourself some clearance, here we go. You're gonna wanna unplug your speakers. There's speakers in here. You're also gonna need to unplug that little sensor and unplug your airbags. And of course, make sure that battery is disconnected. Because Stone Cold said so.
All right, <laughs> it's crazy loose, but don't go ahead and yank it because there's still like a crazy amount of connectors in here. All these wires for the speakers, they're all strung up. With the, oh, there it goes with Christmas tree fasteners. And the last thing is that middle guy. It's it's really hard to reach. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, it's gonna leave me no choice. I gotta reach around it now and pull. Let me get up in here. Oh, disconnect this little guy. There we go. Pushed it through and pinch and pull. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Toe pile. And here it is, guys. Now you could clearly see all the components of this top dash. Oh, what's this GPS thingy? All right. Airbag on this side. And we have all this duct work uh, still secured to the dash. We don't have to mess with taking out any of these screws. So, yeah, it could be a little tricky because you would think that something like this has to be removed, but uh, it doesn't. So now you guys know that, and there we go. Now we gotta do the bottom. All right, uh, this panel right here, this knee kick pad, knee pad, it just unplugs on both sides. It's got little clips, just pop it out, and then it flaps down just like the glove box. Easy peasy. Now we got three more screws under here. Gotta unplug the courtesy light for your feet. Two screws by the center console. And there should be five more screws under this side of the dash. And don't forget the two up here. You gotta disconnect this little cable right here. Pop this fastener off. And unplug the courtesy light for your glove box. That should do it. Oh yeah, we gotta do our ignition. Almost forgot about that. Let's come back around. Gotta get our pedal adjustment on this side. Almost forgot about that. And the uh, ignition up in here, we gotta disconnect. Pop that off. <sighs> Lay this up there. Stay. All right, we are almost home free. Just gotta take off this clamshell because this protects the steering column and inside the steering column, we gotta get off our turn signal stalks because uh, yeah, we can't slide this panel out <laughs> until we get rid of these stalks. And again, oh, there's one. You don't have to remove the steering wheel to take this off, uh, but I guess it does make it easier. So there we go. turn signals and wipers they each have one Phillips head screw and then they come right out Ooh, I'm gonna clean this up before I put that back in that's some finger goop don't forget these guys are tiny guys all right, I think the last thing holding this on is this OBD2 port. Just gotta push the tabs in. That pops out. And we could bring the steering column area over the steering column. And come on, baby. Let's move our wires. All right. very flexible plastic thankfully because you need it to bend look at that there we go dashboard is out 
Yeah, when a good girl roll over. Hey, Danny. Nice cape. Wow, look at that pile of hardware. Yahoo. All right, Commander Dash is completely disassembled. But no time to celebrate. We got to put the new one on. Here we go. Back to black, baby. All right, guys, I think it's safe to say we covered the deconstruction in great detail. I'm just going to reassemble this with my new black pieces the exact same way that I took this apart. I'm just gonna start from the thing I did last and go back forward to the beginning. The most uh, important advice I could give to you is take the time and make sure all your plugs are plugged back in. You do not want to uh, be finished with the installation and realize you forgot to plug in your airbag or something like that. All right, bottom panel is back in. Got all the plugs in for the foot controls, the bottom courtesy light. What else? We got the glove box light. Don't forget that plug right there. Oh, well, that's not it. This is the airbag plug. That's it right there. And uh, also, I'm not sure I showed you this, guys, but I painted the whole e-brake housing assembly when I had the interior part, and it looks real nice. And also, guys, really important, when you're putting your clamshell back on, do not move your clock spring. Actually, try not to move this at all throughout the process. You don't want to spin this around too many times and, and get it out of sync. So try to keep this always in the same place. Don't wiggle it around a lot. There we go. Top dash coming at you. All right, top dashboard is in. Definitely take the time to make sure all your wires are woven through the proper way. Uh, this was a little difficult because it's hard to reach, this little sensor up here. This is the one piece of taupe that remains on the Jeep. I have the other black piece uh, at the other commander in storage. So that is gonna be a nice <laughs> little reminder that this interior was once taupe and tan so there we go a little nice little contrast there so i'm gonna put the trim pieces back in oh this piece i was able to reattach from the back by going through this hole once again but uh it's a little easier if you just pop out <laughs> that there we go that gives you a little more room up in there so we'll put that back and most of this stuff is plastic plug and play so you can uh you know, you could do this fairly easily. Let's get this piece in while I'm at it. Reassembling. <laughs> Look at that. Looking good. Let's go to the passenger side now. Passenger side is in. Don't forget the two 8mm airbag screws way up in there. I was also able to get these two back on fairly easily. I am not messing with this. I don't have the time uh, to wrestle with that. And I also got this one on as best I could but uh <laughs> it's uh, it's not all the way in uh right now time is money I got places to go I want to drive this commander today so I'm not wasting an hour on those two screws so I guess uh I'll get the glove box in I'll attach that little thingy <laughs> over there and then uh, I'll close this panel up this panel is good to go once you put the two 10 millimeter nuts back on and Coming along, guys. All right, don't forget that bolt right in there. 
all the middle screws are buttoned up. Now we're gonna put in our gauge cluster. Again, your vehicle will not run without your gauge cluster. Well, your commander at least. Um, I guess the is part of the, the body control module. I, I don't know the exact uh, wiring schematics of this vehicle, but uh, once you plug in your gauge cluster, then all the interior lights go on. You're able to lock and unlock your doors and things will work as they should. Without your gauge cluster in, you get nothing. So, that's gonna rest right in there. And we'll get those two screws in. All right, cluster is in. And another piece of information about the cluster, the mileage of the vehicle is stored in the cluster. So if you need to swap mileage for whatever legal purpose, you can just swap the cluster. Uh, get the old snap handles <laughs> ready to go. They pop in. And you might wanna run your finger around the edge of the gasket. There, that tucks in behind it. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is a momentous occasion. Gonna drop in the nice front plate. Front trim, front bezel. I don't know. But it's got our nice, beautiful black vents. Look at that. Got a clip in the other side, but I got the eight screws ready to go. And then, oops, I'm missing one. <laughs> All I need is the other four screws for the radio. And that's it, man. Looking, looking real good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking like a commander again. Gonna put in our head unit now. And I did get this, got this module. What is this? It's from Crooks. And this allows you to put a DVD in the nav unit and watch DVDs while the car's in drive. Oh, bad boy. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, they do exist, and um, it's just plug and play. It plugs into the original harness, and that harness plugs right into your units. So, gonna put it together. Radio is in, and my last four screws are gonna pin in the corners. All right, and now our bezel with our AC controls. And, uh, yeah, I gotta plug these in first. Of course, I need two hands for that. All plugged in. Go ahead and slide it in. Click it on. <laughs> there we go. All right. Steering wheel time. Here are my new painted side pieces i think <laughs> side piece i said it again i uh love the way the black looks i was never a fan of the silver and to match i also got rid of the silver on the passenger dashboard piece so i got matching black matching black a nice dyed black steering wheel and all put back together got the cruise control buttons in we got our menu buttons in and we're ready to go slide this back in. Ooh, <laughs> looky here, guys. We got a beautiful new steering wheel. If you want to see how I removed and restored this steering wheel, go ahead and watch my steering wheel video. And we got everything back together except for this piece. Uh, let me show you that dash piece real quick. Check it out, guys. This used to be silver, and I spray painted it the uh, same color that I spray painted the steering wheel. So I got rid of that silver and the trim. We'll go ahead and pop this on. If you're wondering why I had that blue tape on it, it's because I was protecting this area from armor roll because I wanted it nice and uh, uh, sticky to put my uh, double-sided tape on because if you guys know uh, about commanders, if you have a commander, you'll know that this piece pops off very easily. People just grab it to uh, get in and out of it and it rips right off. So I'm gonna stick that on a little better. There we go. Nice. All right, guys, there she is. Look at that beautiful all black dashboard. Oh, I love it. So much better. 
in my opinion, than that taupe and tan. It's amazing. I got my new steering wheel on. You could watch that steering wheel video. That's a nice, beautiful Overland steering wheel, dyed and painted black. We got my passenger trim piece painted black. Everything is looking awesome. All I gotta do is put in this center console, but you could watch that part in my interior swap video. This is just the dashboard video. Also, watch the steering wheel video. And that's it, man. I guess this is a three-part series. Interior, dashboard, and steering wheel. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, that is a wrap for the dashboard video. Also, make sure you watch the steering wheel video and the interior swap video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next project. Peace.